Hey everyone, welcome back to another Anime Kingdom Review. See by title below, this is on episode 33 of Twin Star Exorcist. And yes, I know I'm sorry that this is late. I've been really busy for the past few days. Um, it's pretty much final time for school, so I have a whole bunch of papers and stuff to finish up. And I didn't have time really to make any videos. That along with obviously Thanksgiving, spending time with family, Black Friday shopping, spending time with friends and family with that as well. And literally, I just, it's not an excuse I should be making. I should still try and make videos every, you know, chance that I can in between, but I really just have not gotten the time to be making them, so that is why they are late. I just wanted to, you know, give you guys an explanation at least to know why they are coming out late, but they should, I should for this next week be, you know, back on schedule. It should be that everything should come out when it should be, so yeah, let's start talking about this episode. How did I feel about episode 33? Obviously, the last few episodes have not been as good in my opinion just this whole arc has not been as good honestly but these last two episodes have been like complete fillers in my opinion and finally in this episode we are starting to finally push forward into whatever this plot is we see you know at the beginning we learn a little bit more about Rokuto we get to see Sagan you know when he first found Rokuto in Magano so at least we get to see some of that we don't really delve that much into it because there's still a lot of mystery a lot of questions that not even Rokuto or Sagan know about you know Rokuto right now so it's at least interesting that they are finally throwing in some of that we see you know when they first you know Sagan found him and everything they you know Rokuto and Benio do go to the spot <clears throat> where he is found they don't get anything from it but it's pretty much like these kind of parts it's so far it's just been stuff to push Rokuto and Benio together in a way showing their bond is stronger and stronger and pretty much them talking about what they want to do moving on forward what they plan on doing and yeah it's just really just more character development for the two of them though I would want to see more of Rokuto's past and you know what happened how is his connection to all of this is he like Sai and like part of the tree or something you know not too sure on that part yet hopefully we will learn more about it in the future episodes but that was pretty much just a small little thing that they did throw in in this episode but the thing I did like in this episode was of course the fact that we are finally getting to see the true intentions of our you know main protagonist or um, antagonist sorry not protagonist um, and that is of course Kudanashi you see his whole pretty much his plan we see that actually when they the exorcists thought they were taking out the miasma they were actually putting it on themselves so there's this whole thing that they are going to be able to be controlled by Kudanashi he has all these kind of different things planned out we don't know all of them yet obviously but everything is moving in the order that he wants it to obviously the whole thing with the dragon spots was pretty much just a way for like what he said to do that plus it's pretty much gotten the, the guardians to think that that's it they just want to kill him now because he took away Adima but they have no idea of his true intentions of what he's planning on doing right now and obviously that is not a good thing but obviously that is what's going to be the main plot of the story so it's interesting to see that at least in this one compared to the last ones they are finally throwing in the main plot of what this you know arc is going to be about so that's at least interesting um most of this episode though I have to say I don't know why they decided to do that is they're going to be even doing that for every single one of the guardians but they had a really really big focus on um, the guardian Miku so I'm not too sure what's going on there um, we have to see her story of pretty much her and Sakura's father and how she was with him obviously falling in love with him and then finding out that he was going to marry another person obviously Sakura's you know mom and then of course the whole thing with him and you know dying asking her to protect Sakura and then we finally see um uh what was her name Moro or something the the Basa that we saw before that pretty much was just eating a whole bunch of people and she's pretty much the one that killed Sakura's father so Sakura's rushing in at the very end and obviously that is not a good idea so that looks to be like the main enemy thing that's going to be going on main action part that's going on in the next one not too sure why they decided to do a f huge focus on um Miku is that something that actually happens in the manga like I'm still confused on if this is still like a uh, manga are we finally going on the manga you know the source material or are we still on like a you know anime original arc it's kind of confusing me I'm not too sure on what's going on with that point but 
hopefully we do see more of some crazy stuff in the next one this one literally was just a build up of obviously Kudanashi showing his plan a little bit of Rokuro and his back you know what happened to him in his past and how he was found and then of course we do see a little bit of <coughs> Shimon and him going back and kind of training Rokuro Benio and Mayura as well so there's a little bit of that thing going on I'm not too sure how much of what will come of fruition from that later on and then of course there's still Mikage doing whatever his plan is we still don't know like what he's trying to do he's saying that Arima is dead and everything but he's planning something and this is a lie don't know what he's planning and how if he is really working with Kudanashi but the Guardians literally do not suspect a thing so that is not a good thing honestly so but at least this episode did finally start the main plot so hopefully the next episodes will start to get a lot better but yeah it's all I really got to say about this episode guys so hope you enjoyed this anime kingdom review if you have any questions feel free comment below the same time as and you want to talk about comment below as well and if you did enjoy don't forget to give a like if you haven't already feel free to subscribe for more content and yeah that's all I got to say guys until next time see ya